Crews will return to a field near Angleton tomorrow to dig for the remains of Kellyanne Cox. She is the North Texas woman who disappeared in 1997 and whose body is thought to be buried in Brazoria County. This is the man who lead detectives, who led rather detectives to that location. William Reese is the prime suspect in Kellyanne's disappearance and the kidnapping of four other young women. Tonight, Channel 2 investigates going in depth on this case. Robert Arnold reveals Reese's connection to each victim and a previous jailhouse interview Reese gave to Channel 2 nearly 20 years ago. Her name, Jessica Kane. Her face etched into the city's collective memory for nearly 20 years. Please don't forget my daughter. Remember her in her prayers. That's what's holding us up. 17 year old Jessica Kane disappeared in 1997. Her truck found abandoned off the Gulf Freeway. But that cold case suddenly got hot at the end of February. Crews began digging on this southeast Houston property. Word slowly leaked they were looking for Jessica's body. This feels like we're finally going to get some peace for this child. Mandy Albritton searched for Jessica decades ago. She, along with family, friends, and supporters, came here each day as crews continued to dig. It's sad for the whole community because we all knew her, we all loved her. But Kane wasn't the only young woman to disappear under mysterious circumstances in the spring and summer of 97. April 3rd, 1997, 12-year-old Laura Smither was abducted while jogging near her house. Her body was found two weeks later. Then May, 19-year-old Sandra Sapal was kidnapped at knife point from a gas station in Webster. She survived. July 15th, Kelly Ann Cox vanished. A University of North Texas student was last seen at a gas station in Denton. My last words to Kelly were, I love you, honey. Have a good day. I'll talk to you this afternoon. July 26th, 19-year-old Tiffany Johnston disappeared from a car wash near Oklahoma City. Her body was found in a field. And August 17th, Jessica Kane. Five young women whose fates are connected by time and this man, William Reese. He is the main suspect in each of these cases. Sandra Sapal was the only woman to escape. She fought off Reese, jumping out of his moving pickup truck. Sapal later picked Reese out of a lineup and testified against him. We, the jury, find the defendant, William Lewis Reese, guilty of aggravated kidnapping. He was sentenced to 60 years in prison. Reese spoke to Channel 2 Investigates in 1998 from inside prison. He denied kidnapping Sapaw and blamed his record as a convicted sex offender for the jury's decision. They bring up your past like you've done time before. They figure, well, if you've done it once, you must have done it again. For the last 18 years, Reese has remained silent. But in August of 2015, detectives near Oklahoma City working the Tiffany Johnston cold case got a DNA hit. Now, there was solid evidence. Facing a murder charge and possible death penalty, sources say Reese started talking, revealing details about the disappearance of Kane and Cox. Reese led them to this field, even walking the site in handcuffs to help crews narrow the search. I'm so glad that Mr. Reese is speaking, that he's telling the truth at this time. After more than two weeks, they made the difficult discovery. There's enough there to, to know that it's, it's a body. Officials at the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office are still trying to identify those remains found in southeast Houston. The mother of Kellyanne Cox is hoping search crews at the newest dig site near Angleton will bring her family some answers. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.